Beach Access 5 is a hot spot for winter Texans and other visitors these warm January days. Some walk looking for shells and others simply take in the sun on the beach. But finding a body washed up on shore shattered one fisherman's serene outing. The body was uh, decomposed somewhat to show that it had been in the water for a while. Cameron County Interim Parks Police Chief Silver Cisnero says the body may have been in the water for about three weeks, doing extensive damage and leaving the man unrecognizable. There was no identification on him, so now authorities will have to resort to forensic testing. We need to fingerprint him and possibly some DNA tests and see if we can get him identified. Recently, the body of 33-year-old Fanny Margarito Nevarez also washed up on shore in the same area. Ciseros believes, like Nevarez, this man may be a Mexican national. Oh, it's not a local drowning. It was somebody that, that was crossing further south that ended up coming out here. Even if they drown further south, they come up here in Access 5 and 6. It's just the way the currents work. Tony Reisinger with Coastal and Marine Resources for Texas Sea Grant says bodies sometimes wash up to shore on the north end of the island when they get caught up in the Rio Grande, which empties into the Gulf. Then a longshore current, which runs all along South Padre Island, carries the body as far out as a mile from shore, leaving the body floating along with the current until it makes its way on shore. Cisnero says sometimes those looking to cross into the U.S. by water underestimate the ocean's power. Obviously it's dangerous. Uh, the undertow and the current is, is incredibly strong. And even though you don't see it from the top, it, it really is. And it's very dangerous to go out there, uh, especially trying to swim or in a small craft or anything. It can, it can definitely go bad.